just to let you guys know that um, I do frequent more frequent updates on my Facebook and on my channel the Splintabulous Live this these pictures are from a haul video that I just did so check me out at both places the link will be in the description box I'm gonna update you guys on my hair I've really simplified my routine and I nightly um, I wash my hair two only once every two weeks now I've really scaled down on the time I spend on my hair um, because I've just prioritized my time and during this time I've just been you know have having other issues and things that I need to deal with and hair is just not a number and priority for me so what I do nightly what I just show you just now was the Darcy's Botan Botanical um, daily um, I think peach hydrating milk so what I would do is run some of that over my hair separate it into three sections make sure the ends are covered run it down the, sh the hair strands smoothing the hair down because as you know to stop my the top of my hair does get a little bit frizzy um, and I put it in three plaits uh, for the night I basically do plaits because the twist won't stay in my hair and the plaits kind of elongate my hair a bit I'd love to do the twist but I know the twist won't hold and um, it won't give a proper set um, if I need to do something the next day or, or, or something okay so guys um, yeah so that's basically it so yeah my routine has changed I wash my hair once every two weeks you can use any kind of styling milk that's the Karen's Body Beautiful that I really really like and as you can see that's kinda done and I do love the Darcy's Botanical I have had that bottle for years and I've now rediscovered it and have been using it like crazy lately okay so here I am I'm taking down my hair and my newest truest love of all is now my cow's daughter um, milk hair mimosa honey mimosa whatever you know what I'm talking about y'all yeah so what I do is put a little bit rub it on my hands put it over my hair and take down my plaits um, when I take them down I um, rub the mimosa hair honey on my hair and I separate and fluff okay separate and fluff I try to smooth the top of my hair as as I said you know it gets frizzy at the top but it really doesn't matter to me um, that's not important to have my hair laid down per se so I'm good okay the mimosa hair honey again gives excellent shine and it just enhances the look of my hair in my opinion okay so yeah um, so I do that to all three sections and I just continue to fluff as I go along I've been doing this style um, and it's a stretched look which I'll tell you about um, it's basically um, washing my hair and, and and then stretching it a bit with a blow dryer not too much heat but I've been doing that for the last while um, I've been preparing for a lot I've been going to a lot of interviews and this has been my go-to style either to put it up in a bun or to let it um, let it stay down I typically will put a headband sometimes or just wear it out or pull it up in a bun here is um, and I posted it on Facebook after just after an interview this is how I wore my hair and it really went over very well and um, you know it looked really professional I know you know depending on your length and so on you'll have to tweak it accordingly I'm just fluffing my hair here guys to make sure there are no gaps and holes in the back but yeah for interviews and I'm saying this because I'm going back into the workforce and I just you know what I've been experiencing little tips for you guys who might be doing that is that you know there are so many ways that you can do your hair to um, bring across a professional look I've put my headband on which is more like a goodie headband and I'm gonna put po a pop of color with this colorful headband it opens up really well as a wider type of headband but I want it to be slim so there um, yeah and I really love that look so you know um, think about how you want to present yourself um, and style your hair accordingly 
because at the end of the day you have to give an impression that you're serious about what you're going to do and um, this is not my first job by any <laughs> means but I know how to do that and these styles have really helped me along and as I said I would I can bun my hair I can pull it back in a low bun I can wear it down and it really looks professional with your overall look so that's the look that I had for the day and it came out well I really love that headband on my head so the next thing is I took my graduation photos and I was so concerned about how my hair would come out and I must say it came out so well those are the proofs um, and I think my hair did you know I was really really pleased at how it looked and my other concern was the cap would that darn cap fit on my head and actually it did okay so I had to think about the look that I wanted I knew I wanted my hair down and I was contemplating pulling it back but I thought why not show my hair you know um, and the cap really fit very well on my head and that was certainly a relief and I'm happy um, that I actually thought about what I wanted and expressed it to the photographer and he got me a bigger hat and that was it so that's a tip for you guys yeah your natural hair can hold under your graduation cap guys and look really really good okay guys so any questions let me know um, I'm gonna tell you what I used on my hair to achieve that style for that day for my photo shoot and um, it was really simple as I said before I'm just basically washing my hair I put in for this style the hairdo as my leave-in um, which I absolutely love um, it's almost done I need to order some more honey fig is having a sale now during the month of February I might go there and pick one up um, over that I put my Carol's daughter healthy hair butter which yeah no I put yeah the the Carol's daughter mimosa hair honey over that when it was a little bit damp um, because I don't typically do this wet and then over it I had a thing of Carol's daughter healthy hair butter which I put on over uh, on top of everything else and it came out well I was kind of surprised because the butters and is not that butter is not that heavy so I've been able to maintain that stuff for almost um, six days uh, yeah so and this is at the tail end of the style this is probably the sixth day with me maintaining it the way it is so basically yeah I am about to I'm gonna be graduating in June and if you had concerns about your cap and so on there you you can achieve a nice look with um, you know in a graduation setting as with natural hair it's so flexible so thanks guys I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful to you have a great day and see ya bye